going on people this is jammer 2k back with another team of the season review and this time it is diego godin 96 rated team of the season and yeah i got him in a gold upgrade pack the the Liga one he was the second team of the season player i got the first was boteng but yeah i was just opening packs before i started off champ so all the footage you'll see in the background is champ so i'm going to take you through my first impressions and my last impressions I probably spent about 100, 150k on upgrade packs and yeah definitely worth it I was pretty happy to get him I mean he's not the best centre back or he's the worst centre back of the three available in the team season but he's the most affordable so let's see what he has to offer and lastly make sure to like and sub if you enjoy the video alright I've done the plug so let's get started when I was looking back through the footage, I was actually surprised at just how overpowered Godin is. I came to rely on him more than I care to admit. I mean, again and again, he just mopped stuff up, cleared it. And he has some of the best tackling I've seen in the entire game. He's pretty much retired my Chris Mullin, unfortunately, the big mic. But... I even stuck him in the 84 team of the week tradable SBT and got an 89 Lukaku. That's pretty lucky, but back to Godin. As you can see here, he's really good at attacking on the front foot. So if you want to bring your centre backs forward and press the strikers, he's really proficient. I can't I can count on my fingers maybe the amount of times people got past him. Maybe three or four in 20, 30 games. So, ridiculously legit, and yeah, it led to a few goals eventually. His positioning was pretty much top-notch. I thought with the lack of pace in comparison to popular defenders, he might get caught on the break, but he always tended to stay back a little bit in comparison to the line, and he could be trusted as the last defender, so no problems there. Um, a few players tried to chip balls over his head and use fast strikers I, I saw a few mooses actually of all players but no it didn't work he'd head the ball away or chase them down and make the tackle I mean even here he's on the wrong side and he has no problem to clearing it this was one of the few times he was caught for pace and he still managed to get in and yeah I got away with it thankfully so yeah pretty much 100% positive um, yeah, this was the one time he got muscled off the ball. Well, muscled in general, actually. And it was by Naby Keita, of all players. Not a bad player whatsoever, but I thought Godin. I mean, look at that. Disgusting. And I gave away a pen because I was just like, what just happened? No. But yeah, it's highly unlikely that that will happen and... It was just a freak occurrence, I guess. Or great dribbling, I don't know. I kind of lost my head here. I don't know what I was doing with Godin. I ran him up way too far. And I was expecting the guy to score. And lo and behold, my saviour comes along. I'm still bugging out, look. But yeah, Godin saved me once again. Yeah, after I brought him into the team, I think I got properly mashed up once only. So in the tighter games he was always relied on and that time I learned from my mistake I passed it with Godin, passed it again and I probably should have scored but when the ball comes back in uh, well, towards my half Godin again and it's enough obviously his passing is great although you don't get to use it as much as you'd like to I mean he does spray balls now and again but really it's about his defensive contribution I mean this one I shouldn't have made that tackle it was more Godin than I and that's what I mean I just continually relied on him and yeah I was happy to see players running towards him because I knew I had a pretty good chance of getting the ball back no matter their skill level and because he retains the ball so well and sets off attacks you can see how a number of my chances were directly started by Godin. And yeah, this is probably the pick of the bunch against an 89 Son. 
So yeah, I love Godin. He's a great player and he definitely feels like a team this season defender. The lack of pace isn't really noticeable and I guess the only downside is the lack of hybrid links. But if you're running a La Liga team, I mean look at this guy. He's such a beast. So yeah, I definitely recommend you trying him out. I'm going to wrap up here. So make sure to like and sub if you enjoy the video. And I'll be back with a couple more Team of Season reviews later on this week. And that's what guys.